Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, I just created this J frame in the student module. If you are not seeing my previous video, just go to the description and check out the link. When we click on save next, it will move to the next page. So we are creating a next page. That name of that page is instruction a student page. Okay. So let me create a new J frame. Instruction a student clicking on finish now you can see one page has been created now let me increase the size 166 comma 768 let me click on ok after that we are going to the properties and first we will remove min max and close button from this form so let me click on it here let me close this after that we are placing it here a label level 1 and going to properties, I am setting an icon. So the icon name is index student. Okay, this one icon. After that, we are removing this text from this. Okay, and we are again in inserting one more i label here and just renaming is as instruction. Okay, and going to the properties, we are increasing the font size. Okay. And changing the font uh, style also and making it as bold and we are making it as bold 20 okay we are making it as bold 40 okay okay just let me close this let me make it little bit up and now after that we just need here a separator okay so I'm just moving to the swing menu and here you can see there is a separator. I'm just placing it perfectly on this. And uh, let me increase the size to 1366 comma 768. Let me increase the size. Okay. Let me make it a full screen. Okay. Now, now the next thing we need to display the instruction. So for that I'm using text area. Here you can see where text area here you can see. Let me place it perfectly. And let me increase the size to this. And let me also increase the size to top and uh, let me also at the right side and let me also downside also okay let me place it here okay after that we are also need to do is we just need to insert the text so we already having uh, we already saved whatever you want to display you can just copy it and paste it here so I'm just pasting here read text and I'm just paste it here and after that pasting I'm going to increase the size of this text so I'm making it as 25 bold 25 we are making it as 25 okay so let me close this and you can see let me make it a little bit up you can see it fit and after let me also increase the size a little bit down okay you can see all the best after that here we need to button one button so we can start the quiz so I'm just here and going to properties first increasing the size we are making it as bold 36 the sizes of this button text you can see and let me make it a little bit up and let me decrease the size 136 yeah it's perfect let me read this text and here I'm just writing start start quiz slash exam okay and you can see let me make it at the center okay let me make it the center okay of this page and you can see our form has been created let me run this and let me show you you can see it perfectly now let me close this application uh, because it is not having close button that's why we're using that way to close this after that uh, we just need to insert an image in the background of this page so for that first we need to change the set layout so set layout absolute layout after that we are inserting a label here going to the properties and here I'm just using pages okay pages pages a student okay we are selected and now let me place it perfectly on this form okay 
uh, you can see perfectly placed it here and let me double click on this form and you can see the, here the label name just removing it and save this okay after that this happened after this form design has been completed front end part now we have to transfer data you can see roll number from this page uh, it's loading this roll number to instruction page so what so for that we just need to do is we are again move to the instruction student page and here we just need to copy this okay and here i'm just copying this and uh, we having and here you can see there's an error generated but we just need to write here string string and taking a variable roll number and i'm taking roll number one okay and one more thing we are declaring a variable here public a string okay string and here i'm just taking roll number okay after that uh, this one if let me go to the student module uh, after that you get a uh, better in way okay here you can see let me remove this message pop-up message and setting visible i'm setting here false false and after that new what we do in the previous uh, all others pages like instruction a student and dot dot set to visible and just write here true but in this case we just need to write whatever we don't want to tra transfer data here you just need to write the name i'm just want to transfer the roll number so i'm just writing roll number variable okay roll number you can see there's already variable that we are created you can see a student string roll number you can see and when we move to the next this page it will execute this this constructor okay so let me display the roll number g option pan g option pan dot show dot show message and null i'm just writing and i'm just want to display the roll number okay one so let me run this so that you can see that the roll number is transferred from this page to that page or not so let me run let me insert these details so here i just fill the details now let me click on save next you can see the first you see the roll number because whenever the page is loading and that time it executed when we, it means that the data has been transferred to the next form okay let me click on okay you can see we move to the instruction page so this is all and one more thing we also need to disable this this so that a student cannot uh, edit this okay so for that we just need to write one line of the code say in this and here we just need to write set editable okay the first thing we just need to write j j text area i am just writing text area dot set editable editable i'm just writing false okay and we're also removing this roll number field okay and here one more thing i'm going to do is roll number roll number equals to roll number one okay uh, here i just insert is this roll number which we are getting from previous page and we are storing in this so that we can transfer this data from to the next page so we also need to transfer data from next page so we need to create a one more page here so creating new a frame quiz quiz exam exam the student page i'm creating this one is a our examination page okay and we need to transfer data from instruction page this page to this page so we need to transfer roll number this roll number so for that we our roll number is stored in this variable so we need to transfer data to this variable so first we need to create a constructor which have which will receive roll number so for that i'm just writing it here and in this i'm just writing a string string roll number okay and we just need to transfer the data this roll number this roll number okay so we just need to move event here 
and here we just need to write set visible false and the new visible I'm just writing here with and this one string roll number dot set visible true okay in this way we transferred that roll number from student details page to instruction page and after instruction page we move to the last page last second page that one is quiz page so this is our main part of our this project so in the next video i'm going to create for this quiz or exam a student page okay i hope you guys like this video so please hit like and subscribe my channel thank you